-hmm. the one from last night, like the the one that um, finishes like in your mouth. I think you were, you were like almost gonna. Choke. Yeah, but the one on Friday was like more. <laughs> remember, remember. Oh, that's the one I was talking about then. Oh yeah, and that one was like. Ah. <laughs> you know those boring movies when they are like, Shh, you know, <laughs> like it's like. Tch. It was almost choking you to death. Yeah. What's up guys, John Anthony here and Baby. Baby's back. We had a a brief fight this week and mm -hmm. I made a monogamy video. Oh my god. But now we're we're back on the threesome train. <laughs> we had one last night. Mm-hmm. And we're gonna that's the topic of today's video. And then we have a foursome shortly after this video. And then a threesome after that. Both all new. So it should be three new girls. <laughs> Yeah, so but you're gonna get slower at some <laughs> and point, and right? And then you're Yeah, but it's, <laughs> yeah, but it's gonna get you know, it's gonna get like slower. I'll have time to do my shit, right? <laughs> right, babe? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's our main main fault about right like time. Okay. So, so do you um, want to start? So okay, so basically this girl is from one of the threesome apps again. Uh, we'll go over the story and how things transpired. Before we continue, please subscribe below if you're not already, press the notification bell, uh, new videos every day. And also, uh, my eight week mentorship program, there's a link in the description if you wanna get advanced or learn how to have regular threesomes like we do. Uh, you can click the link in the description, jump on a call with me. I think we've had like 26 or so new girls since May. I don't in threesomes. even know. Tonight will be like three a more. Lot. So that'll be three more and then another tomorrow. Should be like 30 new. We gotta count. We'll have to add them all up. Oh okay, so this girl, uh, she was 24 year old, blonde, covered in tattoos. Like mm -hmm. super pretty face, almost like a perfect super face. Super pretty face, it's super, super pretty face. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, uh, this was like her first threesome. Like mm -hmm. she's like new on the app. Mm -hmm. And like it was her first threesome and her first experience with a girl. Mm -hmm. So we had but her. She had the kids with girls before. Oh, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we had her over, um, she, even though she's 24, she was recently divorced. She was in a marriage for like six years. Mm -hmm. She was like newly single, all this shit. Um, I don't know, do you want to tell the story? Basically she came mm -hmm. over, it was like kind of shy. Mm -hmm. We're all having drinks, I'm drinking my 0% beers. Mm -hmm. Partying hard. Exactly, and then we went to the balcony. We start talking, talking about like life experiences and, it's, we, and because like we live in the beach here. We always talk about like island and beaches. And yeah, there's 42 beaches on this island. She's been to 40 of them because she's from yeah, here. Yeah, so she was like telling all her experiences. And first she was afraid. I thought it wouldn't like work out because I tried to kiss her and she was like, oh, you know, like I just, you know, so I didn't try anymore. Um, and then we kept like talking and like hanging out. And, and, and then like at some point, like we're like the three of us were sitting in the couch because it started raining. So we get inside right we got inside and then like somehow we kissed right yeah like, yeah so we ended up like banging the shit out of her on the couch it was like long sex too like yeah, yeah it was, i like, was like banging long. both of them in like tons of positions they were like eating each other out all this stuff and then eventually we moved How to details right huh mm -hmm. <laughs> then we moved to uh, the bed and like kept going and basically until we were like all tired out mm -hmm. and then came out what happened next? Oh, then we were just chilling with the same music. Yeah. Order, and then we tried to watch like something and then like a back food. to like listen to music, right? Mm -hmm. We order food and then like, oh, and then I put like one of my TV shows that I like. Oh yeah, and you fell asleep. Yeah. And her and I watched. Yeah. Just, oh, I watched it too. But you eventually fell asleep yeah, and her and I watched Yeah, he, he fell asleep like first. because he No, you fell asleep first. No, baby, you did. No, we didn't. I saw you sleeping. And then me and her were like sitting there watching. Oh, okay, but and then, then I fell asleep I, and you woke up. And yeah, then I woke up and then you fell asleep again. So I thought you had to like fall asleep before because I woke up. And then after this, John went to his room to lay down. And me and the girl was like, we stayed there like <laughs> sleeping. It was pretty fun. But then, um, but then you came to bed with me mm -hmm. at some point. And then when I woke up in the morning, you were still asleep. Yeah. So I went out and banged the girl one on one. 
Yeah, and I kept the sleep in the room because I was like, <laughs> uh, sleeping. So I went everyone on one, then we went to the jacuzzi, the three of us went to the jacuzzi. Mm -hmm. It was like a sunny day, it was a perfect day. We made breakfast, made and breakfast. Like, like, so a lot, this is all just random details, but the kind of the important part is we were doing like a whole variety of activities with her, and, and she was like, it was like an amazing, amazing, amazing night and day. Exactly, because like, we did it like, like, breakfast and then we, me and her went up. Yeah, yeah. So we had breakfast. I was like dealing with some shit on my phone uh, for work, and then she was, yeah, her and the girl ended up hooking up one on one for a while. And she's like, "Hey, come up here and join us. Mm -hmm. Come upstairs. The girls are naked in the bed. Mm -hmm. End up banging you guys for a while. Banging more. And then, was, yeah, we were all like fully exhausted again. Yeah, we we're fully exhausted. Yeah, I think the guys can see. They can like pretty much notice, right? <laughs> Like because like when you're not like this, we're like ah, oh, always yeah. talking. We're always talking like with a lot of fashion. So. Yep. And now, and we now we're like oh, recording videos, and then so we got two girls coming over for a foursome. Oh my god. In like yeah, and Friday was crazy like too. Like forty-five so minutes. We're actually gonna like interview these girls to like possibly move in because we're we're in a two-story penthouse here. Let's see, right? Yeah. Yeah. Let's well, no, see. yeah. It's just it's like potential. Yeah, potentially. But like they need somewhere to live. Like they're new to the city. They like came to the city for New Year's. And like they really like the city, and now they're looking for somewhere to live. And we have two extra rooms. We have three extra rooms, but your stuff's in one of them. Mm -hmm. um, so now. So you have two extra rooms. Yeah. So the deal is that if we let a girl or two move in, that we can get a little dog. That's our compromise. She's been asking for a dog, and dogs are kind of annoying to me. But if we have a couple extra chicks in here, I think I'll be able to deal with it. So, <laughs> and she's like, what if it's just one girl? I'm like, yeah, we can still get the dog. Oh my God. And we have another, we have another girl, boyfriend. we have oh another girl we're meeting for coffee tomorrow that uh, needs a place to live as well, that might move in. But we're just gonna, there's no like, we're not even sure if we want girls living here, but we're, yeah, we're, still we're just gonna, here, gonna like, yeah. see how they are. And we figured if it's like two friends, they can like do their own shit and there's multiple floors mm -hmm. and like, you know, we can all do our own thing, but like when you're not around, I can just rail them out and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. They're both blonde. Mm -hmm. One's like 22, mm -hmm. one's 29. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, we had a situation, one, more, one other thing, we had a situation where we had like a 9-5 that we pulled from brunch. Uh, she was with her brother and his wife, and we took her home, answering objections and stuff like that. We brought her home from brunch, ended up running her out for like seven hours. Then you said I busted like nine nuts that day. Nine. <laughs> I banged her twice in the morning. And then it was like, it must have been five with the girl we pulled from brunch. No, I, I don't know. Because then there was two more later. After that girl left, another girl came over. No, I think it was 11. I don't know. It was oh, like 11? seven, nine, or 11. Now I don't know. It was at least nine. Because I remember it was a big number. Yeah, it was a really, really big number. But because it was two in the morning for sure. It was more than five in the middle of the after. It was one more with the girl. And one more with us, at like the last one in the night. Mm -hmm. So it was nine. Mm. Nine, right? Yeah, nine. Which is a lot. Oh my yeah. god. That's but I've never taken Viagra or Cialis. No, that was I'm 37. Like I take uh, maca, just one gram of maca in the morning. The Now Foods brand from Amazon in Brazil. I take just some, just from health food stores. You want like the pure organic mm -hmm. maca. But you should take about, usually they come in 500 milligrams. You take two of those in the morning every day when you wake up. And then try to take two, like 500 milligrams, so another gram. Uh, in between girls. So like took one in the morning I think that day then like two maybe before we hooked up with that girl Maybe like two more after a few sessions mm -hmm. and then like two more before the girls at night It just like aids in your recovery time gives you stronger erections uh, Higher libido and women can take it too. I give it to her too because it, it raises women's libido as well It's, it's a natural uh, It's like an herb from either mm -hmm. Venezuela or Peru or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, definitely take that. That's pretty much all you need for sexual enhancement. Mm -hmm. and you should also, bigger loads too, I think. No, and also keep it like healthy, right? <laughs> I think yeah. that one, the one from last night, like the, the one of the finishes, like in your mouth, I think you were, you were like almost gonna choke. Yeah, but the one on Friday was like more. Remember? Remember? Oh, that's the one I was talking about then. Oh, yeah. And that one was like. Ah, ah. <laughs> you know those boring movies when they're like. Shh, you know, like, it's like... It was almost choking you to death. Yeah. Oh my god. So, yeah. uh, thank you guys so, so much for, for watching and getting all thank these you, nice guys. juicy details. Um, please subscribe below <laughs> if you've not already. Jump on a free 30 minute call with me. Link in the description. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a questionnaire where you can customize. I can find out your goals, your weak spots, 
etc and figure out a custom game plan to get you advanced in eight weeks okay thank you so much for watching thank you and we will see you on the next video see you bye bye take, take care, care. Some do it for the income but we do it for the outcome some of us are active while others just let their mouth run no doubt son this is not just about fun we will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum